Fedor usually comes in about 239, very consistently, sometimes as low as 236. I suspect he'll do that again. Mir said he weighed 260. Weight was not an issue. I believed him. He, I looked at I think he's about 260. Sometimes with those heavier guys, you know, they can float four to five pounds. But I think he's going to come in right about 260. That's what he said he was guessing. I think it's true. I like the fight. Mir looked good. I'll tell you, I only think I think Fedor has one way to win, which is knockout. Fedor can knock guys out. He's explosive and he's powerful, isn't he? When he steps right in there, get you backing up, waits for you to stand still, boom, lunges in, jumps. I watched Fedor working mitts. He even does that on the mitts. He leaves the ground, boom, he jumps into the air. Boxing guys would tell you that's bad technique. Keep your feet on the ground. Pivot. Dig in. But Fedor generates a tremendous amount of power. And those guys that do something special usually do something different. And Fedor's career has been special, and that's something he does different. His ground and pound is the same way. He turns his punches over in a different fashion than most guys. Turns that thumb all the way upside down, comes at weird angles, generates a ton of power. Coaching-wise, it's not how it's taught. But you don't always have to go on script. Sometimes guys find what works for them. And it's not the textbook answer, and that appears to be the case with Fedor. I think that Fedor is likely to uh, out-wrestle Frank or hold him down, go to a decision that way. I don't think those things are, are very likely. I don't think he's likely to submit Frank. I think if he's going to win, boom, boom, he's got to step in and put him down. I just think that's what he has to do. I get these things wrong all the time, but that's how I see it. I close my eyes at night, and I think about this match a lot. I think about both of these guys be facing the winner. So i got good reason to. Frank, on the other hand, I think can control the cage. I think from a, from a snooze fest to a slug out, Frank can control it if he can avoid getting hit. And he is the bigger, slower guy. So he's going to get he's a little easier to hit. The trade-off there is when Frank hits, it's going to hit uh, it's going to hurt a hell of a lot. Should Frank want to just smother him and push him against the fence as he's working for a takedown, maybe he gets it, maybe he doesn't, but he's still winning moments. Should it go to the judges? I think that favors Frank. If he gets on top, he's probably going to be too much. Bigfoot Silva certainly was. Bigfoot Silva is even bigger than Frank. But their jiu-jitsu bulls comparable with, with Frank having a slight edge. I think he could probably just get on top of Fedor and keep him there. What happens after that? Does he ground and pound? Does he find a submission? Hard to submit Fedor, but not impossible. It was hard to uh, submit Big Noguera, too. Frank found a way to do it. Hard to submit Brock Lesnar. Frank found a way to do it. So I, I, can't, I can't discount Frank on that, even though I don't think he will submit Fedor. But he's got some ground and pound. You know, he can sit on top of it. Frank's got a lot of ways to win. That's my point. Frank, my final analysis is Frank Mir has a lot of ways to win. I think Fedor has won. I don't know that Fedor's one isn't more likely than Frank's many. It's an interesting and close fight for me, particularly when you take into consideration that Frank has been out for two years. For two years, he's been on the shelf. And that matters.